Here's a fact that will surprise a lot of people. Rooftop solar is the most expensive and least effective way to reduce electricity-related CO2 emissions. Now, how can this be? We hear all the time that taxpayers need to subsidize more rooftop solar as a way to fight climate change. But the research shows actually that it is the worst way and that there are lots of other things that we can do that are far more effective. Here in Washington state, especially rooftop solar is incredibly ineffective. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory looked at the entire continental United States and found that Western Washington in particular was the worst place for solar energy of any kind. Second, rooftop solar in particularly is uh, very ineffective because while solar costs have come down, much of the cost of solar, of rooftop solar, goes into brackets and to wiring the house rather than the solar panels themselves, where we have seen technological advancements. In fact, Lazard, an analysis agency run by Barack Obama's former uh, head of office and management and budget, found that rooftop solar is the most expensive form of energy not just renewable energy, but of any kind of energy. If we want to truly effectively reduce electricity-related CO2 emissions, subsidizing rooftop solar is about the worst way we can do it. And, even, and in fact, a new study by University of California, Berkeley, found that taxpayer subsidies primarily go to the wealthiest households. Rooftop solar is not only expensive, not only ineffective, the subsidies go primarily to those who don't need them.